Elvis, just a correction. I'm speaking to the governor of the National Bank of Rwanda, John Rwangombwa. Um, and I was very interested in what he has to say. Of course, there's been a little bit of controversy in South Africa about our visa regulations uh, recently, about people having to carry unabridged birth certificates for children. Uh, and, and he was discussing this morning at a panel session uh, how East Africa is, is dealing uh, with cross-border movements. Uh, welcome to you, Governor. Just, just tell you. me uh, about what you are doing. You, you were saying it's becoming incredibly easy to, to move across borders. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I think we realize as a country that if we are to have a meaningful development plan for our nations, we need to, to integrate our economies. We are, we are small economies and we can't really stand alone, but so together we can achieve a lot. So what we've done as East Africa, we've uh, really broken all barriers to movement of capital, movement of people across borders. Like today, at least first for the three East African countries, Rwanda, Kenya, Uganda, sits and move across borders using just their IDs, identity cards. You don't need a passport to move from Kigali to Nairobi or to, to Kampala. And this has allowed the free movement of people and we, uh, that allows trade uh, to move very quickly. Uh, so the other thing is we, we are opening up or we're integrating our, our financial systems. So harmonizing the regulation across the borders. Uh, this is across the East African community, the five countries. Mm. The three said plus Tanzania and Burundi. Uh, uh, so the other important thing that we've achieved in recent times is breaking all the non-tariff barriers across the corridors. We have what we call the Northern Corridor from uh, Mombasa to, to Kigali down to Bujumbura and, uh, and Congo. Uh, and so plus the central corridor from Tanzania again to Rwanda and Burundi and Congo and used to have a multitude of uh, roadblocks checking goods and all that. So with this integration we've we removed all these uh, roadblocks and what we do today we clear goods entering our region at the at the port of entry that's in Mombasa or Dar es Salaam. So this has greatly improved uh, trade and uh, business across our borders. You, you said that people can move uh, quite easily. Are they able to work across different cities uh, across East Africa? And, and additionally, it's been said yes. that there are these huge divid uh, dividends to regional integration. You can actually lift your GDP because mm. skills can move, goods can move more easily. Mm. Are you seeing those dividends yet? In fact, when you look at our region, the East African region today, it's the most uh, high developing region of Africa. When you look at our GDP, it's around 6% uh, for the region. And that's higher than any other region in, in Africa. So I would say the, the, the deepening of regional integration we are having today is contributing to this uh, good performance. Uh, yes, people can work freely in, in different countries. When you look at Rwanda today, the, the, the financial sector and the, the rest of the service industry, we have many Kenyan experts working in Rwanda. And they live freely in Rwanda as, as East Africans, as we, we consider ourselves as, as really the same people. The, this is incredible and, and interesting for us uh, because in, in Southern Africa, I guess South Africa, there's a lot of pressure on us, a lot of people wanting to move here. We've, we've seen a recent backlash a, against that. Any advice uh, for South Africa? If we are seen as this very desirable uh, place, place to work and, and there's high unemployment, so people are worried about protecting their, their jobs. Uh, maybe let me just talk about our region. I, I really don't want to go into the, the, the complexities of, of this area here, but mm. what's important is uh, the issue of jobs is not because so-and-so is coming from outside to take your job, but the issue of jobs is what are we doing as Africans? We should look at ourselves as Africans. When you start looking at yourself as a Rwandan or Rwanda, Kenya or South Africa as an independent island within this African continent, we shall never develop. Today, Europe has been able, there are many European countries that have been able to expedite their development because of the European Union. Countries like Belgium, like Ireland, they benefited a lot from the, the, African, the, the European Union concept. Today, Europeans, you move from one country to another, like we are moving from one district to another in our countries. And that has benefited them a lot in terms of their human development, their capital and economic development. 
We are underdeveloped as Africa and we take pride in closing ourselves within our borders. It doesn't help at all. At least the experience we have back home, uh, in Rwanda we weren't even moved a step further. We, we opened our borders to all Africans. You don't have to get a visa as an African before you travel to Rwanda. Those that still need visa, you get it at the entry point when you are entering into Rwanda at the airport or at the borders. When we're opening, people are concerned, security, all that. I think the question was, the advantages we get by opening our borders to our brothers and sisters in Africa are much bigger than the threat of security that would come in. So what we do in that case, we strengthen our security systems, uh, but we open up these advantages of being an open economy. Today, many countries talk go to Hong Kong, and you just enter and leave, no visa restrictions, nothing. They haven't had any big problem because they have that open policy. If anything, it's an advantage. So it's really important for us as Africans to look our, at ourselves and plan for development as Africans. That's when we can benefit uh, from uh, the size of the population. And the, the capital we have here, today you find Africans going to invest across, across the continent, outside the continent. Yet we are crying of capital in, in Africa, what we've been discussing in the session here. It, it's all here for, for the taking, basically. Uh, sure. Unfortunately, we have to cut it there, but what an incredible uh, insight from Rwanda. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, John Rwangobwa, Governor of the National Bank of Rwanda, talking about how East Africa has open borders. Do remember all our interviews on the website, www.sabc.co.za backslash news. And uh, you're with 404 DSTV. We take a short break, and Elvis will be back with you afterwards.